got scales. Can't freaking hear you, lady. Way next axle. Park and pa park bringing papers. Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, here's me and Dad. Uh, we just got started about well, a couple hours ago. We're right inside the line of Kentucky. But uh, a few things we have to do to get ready. Mainly, gotta get to bed. Dad's holding the steering wheel, and uh, we got a three boat load today. We're going to Chilliwack. Oh, Chilliwack, Chilliwack. So hopefully all the weather that's currently in California, Donner's Pass and Oregon, all that stuff will be kind of cleared out a little bit before we get up there. But don't know, we'll see. So the idea is is to uh, kind of show you guys what it's like inside the truck while we're going down the road. Some of the things that we have to do. You know, one, redo the sheets, the bedding, because you know it's me and Dad. We wash there. Too. Dad driving and the and the uh, GoPro up on the uh, the dash over there getting some road footage for you guys. You know, bed's made. I know, right? I'm 13 again. I can make a bed. Woohoo! I'm gonna lay down for a little while. At least try to get some sleep. Cause I guess our route this week. What do you think, Dad? You want to take 90 or you want to take 80? weather it just depends on you know what it's gonna look like in Cheyenne you know and it's a truth down through that way it's probably gonna be windy so what dad's talking about if you guys didn't catch that um, we were mainly concerned with the weather and and the wind because these, these last week was 70 mile an hour gusts that's pretty bad um, that's why we took I-25 north to Casper, up to Butte, Montana, and then took, you know, 90 all the way to I-15 and backtracked down. And the reason why we went all the way around the world uh, just to get back to 84 is the, the weather. I mean, it was, it was just bad. I mean, well, we made it to Kansas City and... Uh, uh, without incident, without fail, nothing's nothing dramatic's happened so far, so that's nice to good. But uh, <clears throat> it's my time to drive, and Dad's giving up the wheel. He's tired. Uh, over here at the Petro, I guess my coffee. If I can get this right. Uh, maybe if I move forward a little bit. Uh, I'll call it good there. Well, good morning from Rapid City. It's a little chilly this morning. What's going on now is uh, me and Dad are swapping and I am going to be uh, giving you guys a few more videos here. One of my shop and uh, shop update. I'm gonna make it into a series of videos. 
and that way you guys can go back and watch on the playlist for all you future viewers you can go check out that playlist later in the comments but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an update on my home and what's going on down that way so that'll be coming up in the next video but for today well, we're just swapping Scales. That freaking hear you, lady. Way next axle. Park and pa park bringing papers. Dad, go ahead and pull around. Read the signs. One that says yellow. Trouble at the scales. Wyoming. All they want to see is your if done paperwork. Good luck. Should be fine. Hey, we do okay? Yeah. They got a good laugh out of it. That's you like, I pulled up and I'm like, I kept hearing some. I didn't know what it was. And I didn't realize it, but that you guys were talking to me, you know, on the speaker, you know. Oh, yeah. That's why I was all, like, confused. Backing up and forward. And... I got you. <laughs> okay. Onwards and forwards. I was like, there's y'all's good laugh for you for the day. Got him one. Yeah, you got him one. That's crazy. Moving quick too, boy. Look at that. Oh yeah. We are about oh let's see. Two and a half hours from the delivery. And uh, two hours from the border, and I literally have you know <laughs> two hours and 31 minutes left to get there. But thankfully, when I get to the border, my day gets extended by two hours mainly because I'll be operating on Canadian hours of service and not US. So, good for there.
Canadian border already. And literally, they're still at the gate. Um, gate's literally behind us, but I just pulled forward a little bit. My day's done. Dad, however, you know, he's just got his breakfast and we got 20 minutes to drive ahead of us in order to get there. So, we'll, uh, we'll get there and I guess get unloaded with all three boats and then turn around and come home because that's what we did. This is definitely wine country. Okay, so we're here in the hole. Uh, this is the first time we've got this trailer here, at least for me. <laughs> I'm sure other drivers have brought this particular trailer here. We're a small company, but trailers get used every week. So because it's a low boy trailer, we're talking extremely low. Two fingers, it touches the ground. Here's my problem. I get high hung. So if you guys ever know what a low boy trailer does, it gets high hung. And let me show you the, the grit in the road. Now I just said grit. This is my trailer tires. I had to roll over that plant. I killed it and I didn't unnecessarily, but it's it's been <laughs> it's been hit before. So I'll show you guys here in a second. Get out here in this road. It's coming across. See those scrapes right there? Mainly that one right there my trailer was digging in and as I was backing in the trailer was doing this because I was pushing back on it and the trailer would back in see how I, I nosed it back in like that way anyways it was causing it to to dip to one side and bend to one side and that bending was the issue let's go look at the trailer see if there's any damage See how low it sits now. This whole ground is actually, this is a low point right here. That's high up there. If you look at the back of the, the bumper, you see how low that bumper is compared to this up over here. Now this is thick, thick, thick metal. I mean, this is, this is frame metal. That's what this is. <laughs> so this little edge right here was digging into the road on this side. So, yeah, anyways, I had to cut it in such a way that I had to keep the entire rig on the road and on the high side of the curb. Because if I didn't, would have would have got what's called high centered and the frame rails would have got stuck in the road. Oh yeah, we're empty. Green guys leaving. Trailer's uh flat now. And uh, I just got a call from the gutter guy, uh, well, contractor. Uh, UPS is supposed to be coming by and fixing my house, fixing my house in the next couple of days, uh, probably Friday, once it stops raining, because right now it's raining like cats and dogs at home. So he won't be able to do anything. But, there's Dad. We're empty, we're now headed home. So, Mr. GPS is saying we should be getting there at uh, 752, but, uh, well, we have to account, you know, for dad's break, my break, dad's break again, my break again. So it's saying it's going to be uh, 42 hours and 30 minutes getting home. I think we're going to go through Highway 2 um, in Washington State. That's, you get off of 405 and you run through Stevens Pass. It's real pretty. As long as it's a dry day, we don't mind taking it. Um, but uh, if we take it, um, we're definitely not taking 80 home because 80 right now is a mess. Well, 84 is a mess. Well, surprise, surprise, we made it back to the yard. No shocker there. Hey, y'all, you just sat there. Just wanted to say uh, we're in a hotel room, me and Dad. A uh, little teaser for a future video. But, uh, yeah, just wanted to close this video out and uh, hope to see you guys on the next one. And, Dad, what do you got to say? No, 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 it's, it's, y'all stay tuned. This, this next two videos are, oof. Yeah, not a good one.